Yeah, so I couldn't come up with a name for this one, so I just called it the little bass thing, uh, <coughs> which people kind of laughed at at the time, and so that cool. made me want to call it that even more. So what you've got here is treble, treble cliff. You've got middle, you've got bass, and this is the frequency, so you can sell it. You can change the frequency of the mid. They're all boost or cut. If they're in the middle, they're out, they're totally flat. You've got compression, which has got a bit in there, volume. You can foot switch the compression in and out. It's an active bass, so we've got the pad in at the minute. You've got a buffered effects loop. You've got a balanced out with a ground lift. And 500 watts class D output stage and the preamp is all solid state on this one. And the foot switch is a compressor? It, it defeats this. Right. So you can use it as a boost. Yeah. Like a level boost. It basically, if you switch it out, this will be all the way down. Yeah. If you switch it in, it depends on where you set this, how much boost you get. Right. So, you know, this kind of doubles up as input gain, stroke compression, the more you push this, the more it compresses. Now, you know. does, that, does that work with the, as far as the send and return? And what's the relationship with that? The volume is after the return. Right. So you can turn it up through the PA by, yeah. by turning this up. Sure, right. You know, a lot of them are, the, the DI out's independent. Yeah, yeah. On this one, this actually does, it will actually turn it up. Right. Uh, so you've got control over the whole sound. Yeah, yeah. If you feel you're a little bit weak yeah. and the sound man is not paying attention, 007, <laughs> you know, pay attention 007, uh, <laughs> then uh, you can go, well, I'm going to take this into my own hands and notch it up a bit, yeah. you know. Uh, which is yeah, cool, which is what you want. Well, yeah, I figure it's what I would want, yeah. you know, if I was playing bass on a gig, that's yeah. what I'd want. You know, I'd want to be able to do that, you know, and, and obviously if you plug into the return, this volume will still affect the level as well. So if you really don't like the drummer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you want to get him to play louder. Uh, if he's tapping it uh, when he should be bashing it, <laughs> <laughs> then, you, you know, you can, uh, you can push him, just like, leave him in an eider down of bass. <laughs> You've got a voltage selector on there as well, which has a little bit of see-through plastic screwed over the top so it can't accidentally get switched. Right. And that's really for touring. Yeah, yeah. So if you're not carrying a voltage bucket like a lot of American bands do, right. they'll carry a bucket and they'll just have all their backline at 120 and just wherever they go, it runs off a bucket. If you haven't got that luxury and you're touring on a budget, yeah, yeah. you can undo one of them screws, lift that, switch it over, look at the fuse values on the screen print, swap the fuse over right. for America or whatever, you know. And, you should get and, out of jail. You should get out of jail, you know. Uh, very lightweight as well. And so lightweight, we've had to put two rubber beer mats underneath this, uh, <laughs> just to, because it, it was uh, having a little maybe dance. The, maybe there. the beer mat should come with it as far as a gig. gig yeah, orange beer mats. That's what we need to be looking at. Orange rubber beer mats, you know. So these cabs, yeah, we've got these, these are super lightweight 1x12 base cabs. It's a, a Neodymium Lavocci base 12. And it says on the magnet 600 watts. That always normally makes me put that at 400 so that people don't let the magic smoke out, you know. Uh, and they actually pack a reasonable amount of punch for the size and weight, you know. So you can, I mean, you can carry these, one of these with one hand, these yeah. cabs, you know. And they make, two of them make a nice little, yeah, yeah. little rig, especially for smaller venues, you know. Can you run them in, what have you got on the, can you run them in series? Like, so if you wanted like... Run four of them. Four of them. If you, if you wired your cables and made them, for, you know, you could, you could, you could series the cabs together using the cables, 
I mean, I only ask because obviously... And take they, it up to 16 they, they twice. So, so small that he wouldn't, like... Yeah, it's possible to do that. I mean, the overall impedance of the NBA owns. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you're still not going to be getting the full... See, this will make 250. It look cool. Yeah. Well, it would look cool with four of these, actually. Yeah. But this would be... Like that. Because it's Class D, the maths halves on impedance. Right. So into one of these, or one 8-ohm cab, it will be making 250 watts. Into two, or a 4-ohm cab, it will be making 500. And these pots are detente, so you've got little notches on right. there, you know, so you can, this re makes it more recallable. Yeah, which is yeah. cool. Well, yeah, it's good, because I mean, a lot of settings on amps, you know, I used to just get a bit of tape and just go, Pfft. Yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, you, could, you could almost glue them down right. once you've got your, <laughs> your settings, you know. So being able to recall them easily by having them detente, I find helpful yeah. for an amp like this, really, for the EQ and stuff. Yeah, they're actually, they feel like switches, but they're actually pots. Yeah. Do you know? It's kind of like, I've got loads of pro audio gear that's got yeah. switches, yeah, yeah. and so I kind of like the feel of them. No, it wouldn't suit everyone, but for this amp, it works really well. And when you're pushing the compression, uh, red starts popping through this light, so uh, as it's catching the oh, transient, oh, so if you start so seeing so red, right, okay. yeah, so yeah, if you, if you, So this is really designed for people who wouldn't normally lean to a tube bass amp, yeah. like an SVT or a 8200 or a you know a Boogie 400 Plus or whatever that they used to. You know, uh, you got your die-hard tube players, and we got stuff for them. We got the Terra bass has the 8200 front end. We still do the 8200, which is a 200 watt tube bass amp. Uh, all tube and this is really for as you said players like the, the one that's snappy clean want it cleaner yeah. with snappy snappy compression you know uh, it does really well yeah, it's lovely space. Yeah, really nice. yeah it's all right it's, it's come out really good 